Hey crafty friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Marissa. Today I have my Monday mini album for you. I used Erica's newest dies from this month's release, the scalloped Easter bag. to make one and I um, had Fr Frank Garcia's, what is it, French Blues collection out because I was working on my design team project last month, or not last month, like last week. And since I had it out, I cut out my papers and then I finished it up over the weekend. Um, it was a qu not a quick make, but I was able to incorporate a lot of different little things that I like doing. And it's very vintage, very chic, as you can see. I um, Let's just jump in, actually. So what I did was I cut up all my sheets and I just trimmed off the excess on the side since I wasn't making it a bag. And then I did use the base part for it though. So I did, you know, use that. And I took the zipper and as you can see, I just hot glued it to the back and I added a little magnet there and that's my closure. With this bow the bow comes from um the ribbon is from michael's i picked it up this year it was from their easter collection and so you open it up and i kept it obviously plain here just because of the bow but you open it up to the first page and i've already um, embellished all of it it's not necessarily for photos it's just kind of an album that i wanted to make and just somewhat free play in a way uh, no purpose for it just uh, something pretty you know sometimes it's fun to create stuff that we can just um, let ourselves express and there no be no point to it but just to make it and so that's what I was going for with this and so I added some molding um, this is air dry clay and I have the molds from Frank Garcia and so I have made a few and I just have them um, ready and available. And then I just paint them whatever color I want. And so I did that. I added a cute little charm. Did some stitching up here. It's just, I love this lace too. It's so pretty. It comes with the collection. There's four uh, strips in it. And oh, I just love it. I'm trying not to, not to hoard, but I, you know, you you can't help it okay over here i just did a simple technique of um, layering up stuff with foam tape and then adding um, this cut out this is one of the ephemera bits i did some stitching back in there and some fussy cut with the flowers i don't know if you guys can see that here i created a pocket just simple tags added some um, seam binding and then just fabric strips that i have i did add a little bit of a doily there that i have a piece laying around and then here i just embellished i added one of those wax seals i have the um laura by laura wax it seal the hummingbird which i absolutely love um i picked this up at michael's and I've been using um, also t uh, the stamp that comes with the collection. And I did get those as part of my design team. So that was pretty awesome to play with that. Now I had to go and get more, <laughs> which I was trying not to because it's one more thing I add to the collection. Anyways, but I was able to incorporate that in the little flowers all throughout. I love the flowers. They're so pretty. Okay, here I kind of kept it a little simple. I just cut out the tag. Actually, the tag is part of the ephemera. I take it back. Um, and I distressed inked, uh, used this vintage photo one. And then I just glued on all these little bits there. I don't know if you guys can see the little bird and the um, papers there. And I did add some um, tool here in the button from my stash and then just kept it simple because I didn't want to cover this up completely I love that look on this one I kept it pretty blank or not blank but flat just because I had done stamping I shared um I think I shared this one on my Instagram but this is a stamp set that I found at I want to say Michael's a long time ago um like years ago and they had a bunch of stuff that they sometimes put out and got rid of it but I am gonna say that over time like this part here of the stamp was melting and peeling off so I had to cut it so there's that and then this set I picked up at Tuesday morning from I think it's like Bow Bunny was the brand 
And so I just did some stamping around and of course I included this stamp set and I just, I added, punched some holes and ran some yarn through there just for a little extra. Oh, I think I love this one. This is one of my favorites. So for this one, I don't, you can't really tell, but I cut strips of paper in the background and glued them down. I was going to stitch, but then I decided not to. I just glued it down. It probably would look cool if I stitched it. And then I stamped around in there, distressed it. And then I added this big tag uh, from the pa tag pad that I used. A few of those are from this pad. And then I cut out a smaller one from the 6x6 six six or the 8x8. Eight eight. might be the 8x8 eight eight sheet. And then I cut this out as well. And the pretty bow, the flowers, one of the um, ephemera kit uh, pieces. And I added some of this burlap string and another little flower. Just love this one. It's so pretty. This one, I kept it um, kind of simple. I had to include her in there because I feel like she's the main, one of the main faces of the collection. And then I added um, two more tags there. I did do some stitching on this one in the background of here. Just love it. Okay, here I fussy cut the girl out. She comes in a big piece and I cut her out and then I added stuff around her and then I added more of the lace. Oh, I just love it. I love that lace, it's so pretty. I'm almost out, which I'm kind of sad. I'm gonna have to see if I can order some more. Here I created a pocket within a pocket and I added another one of the wax seals. I was thinking it was a little bit gray, but it turned out blue, so I'm kind of like, er, it's okay though. I think it still goes. And then I found this in my stash, which I thought it was perfect because we have the dress form there. Added a little rose there to match the roses. And here's just the pull out uh, tag from the ephemera set. And then the last page here, I just created a little tuck spot randomly. I, I um, had started to glue this stuff down here. And then I just decided to add that there and make it a little tuck spot and then I had these little um, pearl beads that were wired that I got as a thank you gift from happy crafters shop so I've been able to include those and then three of the little flowers and then I love this little cut apart there so cute and then the back I just kind of kept it basic and it closes like this how cool is that so definitely play around with your dies, you guys. And thank you so much for watching. I'll list um, as much as I can in the description box. Um, I do have discount codes for both shops. Um, and I'll put them in the description um, box there with links. So thank you guys so much for watching. And come back soon for some more videos. Bye.